Hi, welcome to the tutorial today. What I'm going to show you how to do is make a blueprint project into C++. This way you can use plugins and stuff directly in your project, um, or even just make C++ stuff if you want. Um, so with that said, let's go and get into it. So before you go into Unreal Engine, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your web browser. You're going to type in Visual Studio 2022 in Google, and you'll see this download Visual Studio tools from Microsoft. Okay. You're just going to do free download of the community. It's free. Um, so as long as you're not like on a big team or a small team, you can get it for free. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And then once it downloads, you're going to get a launcher, similar to how the Epic Games has a launcher. So you're going to open that up, and you are going to go to Available. And I don't have any here, but you'll see Visual Studio 2022, uh, Visual Studio Community 2022. You're then going to go, once you install it, you're going to go to Modify, okay, and once this loads up, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have these three um, enabled. You have .NET Desktop Development, Game Development with C++, and Desktop Development with C++. So as long as you have those three in there, um, and you have Visual Studio installed, you should be good to go on that end. So now what you're going to do is you are going to, assuming you already have a project, you're going to go up the tools. Okay, you're going to go up the tools. You're going to click new C++ class. This is a project without C++, and we're going to turn it into C++ real quick. So go ahead and just hit none. Uh, I just call this like initial class um, or something, because you need it, you need it to uh, initialize C++. Um, another thing is mod maker. That's project name for mine. Um, you, you'll have your own project name. If you have plugins, if you want to install C++ code to plugins, they'll be under this list too. Okay, this, this is the, uh, where all your code files will be is called source. And then just go ahead and create class. You can leave everything here default. This is the first time you're doing this. Alright, and you're going to have this loading bar here. And, and then, uh, it will pop up shortly with either an error or it's going to pop up Visual Studio. Sometimes it'll have an error. If that happens, I'll show you how to fix it. Um, yep, project now includes source. Please close your editor and build from IDE. Uh, successfully added, you must recompile. We'll just hit no for now. Okay, and then we need to exit the editor because one thing um, to keep in mind when you're using C++ is the IDE, Visual Studio, or Writer, and the um, the, what do you call it, uh, Unreal Editor, they're separate things. So if you want to launch, if you're making code changes in C++, you'll launch from Visual Studio. Um, and then if you're just wanting to work in Blueprints, just open it like normal. Just open the project like normal. Um, so with that said, we'll go ahead and go to Show and Folder for the project directory. Okay, now I've already got this, and I'm using Writer, but the process is going to be the exact same for Visual Studio. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right-click your project and click Generate Visual Studio Project Files. You can hit Show Log and see what it's doing. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is if you're ever having issues with code or whatever, or just your project, you can delete the intermediate, and then it's going to create a binaries folder as well. You can delete that, and then just generate Visual Studio Project Files, and you'll have a clean, clean install or a clean version of your project. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to open the IDE, which is this solution file here. Okay. Um, you'll have Visual Studio. I'm using JetBrains Writer. The process is the same. Okay. So once you open this up, what you want to do is you want to... Um, oh, one, one more thing. Before you finish this video and do this, uh, back up your project because once you go C++, you can't go back. So just back up your project um, before you do that. Okay, um, so now that we're in there, we'll go to Games. Yours will probably be over here if it's in Visual Studio on the right-hand side, but it should be the same. You'll have Engine, Games, and maybe Visualizers. Um, but just go look at it until you see your project name. Okay, now this is going to take a little bit on my end, so I will pause this video because uh, Ryder takes a, little few, a few minutes to get their things going. So I will um, pause this, and then I'll return whenever this is finished. All right, so I've got it. It's finished up now. Um, you probably won't have that in Visual Studio, but you might. You might. It's been a while since I used Visual Studio. Okay, so now that you have that, um, you're going to right-click your project name. 
and you're going to go to advanced build options and click rebuild. And now after you do this, you'll be able to launch your project like normal. Um, if you don't make any new C++ uh, projects, you probably won't ever have to do this again unless you delete your binaries and intermediate. Um, but assuming you don't do that, you'll never have to do this again. Uh, another thing is while we're on this, um, all of your code is going to be stored in source. And this is just the folder that Unreal uses or calls uh, C++ files location. So blueprints are stored in content, C++ files are sto stored in source, so just keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this again and uh, return whenever this is finished. Okay, return. Okay, so it's finished now. Um, so in Visual Studio, you'll probably have like a little green play button like this somewhere up here. Um, go ahead and click that. Uh, if you if you exit out, that's fine. Um, just open the project like normal through the Epic Games Launcher. Just open it. I'm going to do it through the IDE. Okay. So it'll load up just like normal. And that's pretty much it for C++. You can go back to using Blueprints or whatever. Um, however you want to use it. But now you have C++ in your project. And uh, everything works like normal. So, um, yeah, it all works like normal. So that's basically how you add C++ to your project. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.